Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about my expectation and wants from Batman 2017 coming out later this year. This is just going to be a quick video on what I want from this new game and what I'm excited for. So here I've made a list of the things I want from the new game. <clears throat> First we have an open world. Kind of like Batman Arkham uh, Knight to where you can do whatever the hell you want in this big vast open world. I think that's awesome. I think it's uh, one of the things we're looking forward to as a community. So I think it's one of the things we definitely will need. Um, Joker must be in the game for me. Like Arkham, an Arkham Knight, they made him as like a, um, a thing in Batman's mind. They need to keep that up. Like they need to have him and like somehow like in the game. Like um, one of the things in my previous video was Joker as a open world boss. You find him in the streets. You somehow interact with him. You can find him if you want, but you have to find him in the game first. He's not the main villain, which would be, I think, it's gonna be amazing. Um. Plays both Batman and Robin. You can choose. I'm, I'm not saying like choose whichever you want to do because that might be a little bit too much stressful. But like I think a good balance was between Batman, Arkham City, where some missions are Catwoman, and there's not too many of them. There's like five or six missions of Catwoman, and then the rest of the game is just Batman. That was a good uh, a good equivalent. Maybe a little bit more of each. You know, make the game a little longer. Put more of Robin in there. But I think it'd be a great way of doing it. Batmobile. I think the Batmobile in Arkham Knight was good at first and then until we overused, 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 and overused it. So if they can play that down a little bit and have it kind of like restricted and almost like, you know, used in certain parts, like, I don't know, like a racing, the you know, like, uh, yeah, just play. It's in there, but just not overused like in Batman Arkham Knight. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, variety of villains. I would love to see Bane, Catwoman, uh, Scarecrow in the game, uh, Mr. Freeze, all those cool, like, you know, Calendar Man, all those cool villains. I don't want them to be, like, a boss, as I said, like, necessarily, but, like, just somehow in the game, you can somehow find them, like, see them, interact with them, fight them, or, you know, fight the gang, or whatever it may be. I want a variety of villains in there. Um, Easter eggs. I want, like, Easter eggs to, like, comic books, like, like, hints, like, comic books, or hints, like, Bob Kane. Bob Kane being the uh, creator of Batman or co-creator of Batman, like hints, like hints to him or hints to other like other games and Easter eggs. Like I love Easter eggs as a person. I would love to see more in the game, and that's just one of my things I would like to see. A large map. This kind of ties in the first one, like an open world. Like you don't want to be an open world map where you're just exploring like a small little island, like Arkham Asylum. Like that was a small map, even though the game was great. Small map. There wasn't really too much open worldness to do. Um, but if you have like a big world like open or Arkham uh, Knight and you can just do it the hell you want, that would be pretty cool. I mean, I think it must be required if it's going to be open world. You know, you're not going to want to be roaming around in a small ass town doing like nothing. So, uh, cool side missions. So, in Arkham Knight, I feel like they have pretty good ones, but then again, we're not making or we're not going to we're not going to get a Rock City title. We're going to possibly. I don't know what the hell the studio is called because they're not they're not that good. Um, uh, Warner Brothers Montreal, I believe it's called. Yeah, that's it. They had some okay side missions, but I feel like they weren't interesting enough in Arkham Origins. But I feel like they've learned from that. I mean, I hope so, and maybe they can improve upon that. So that's the hope, and that's that's what I hope it is. Um, not requiring side missions to beat the game. My biggest problem with Batman Arkham Knight was, even though I loved the game at the time, and that was like my first impression of the game, I loved it, looking back on it now, it had its problems, like every game does, but requiring you to do every single side mission to beat a game to get a full ending, like what the fuck dude, what are you trying to do, maybe like piss out my mind, like dude, um, sorry about that, I kind of get though, like if you're going like, every mission was acceptable until I got to the regular missions. The regular missions, like, you have to find every single trophy in the game and then fight him to beat one of those missions. A side mission. What the fuck? I'm not trying to, like, look for, like I've said every time, it's repetitive to look for all the regular trophies. Now, every other mission, though, was pretty fun. Find Scarecrow, or uh, find Firefly, capture him, you keep doing that. Man, Bat, you find him in the sky, beat his ass, do cure him, he's all good. Um, missions like that. I think are fun. So if they have missions like that to beat the game. It's understandable if they're entertaining, but repetitive ones like with the regular trophies, they can go hop off a bridge. That was so stupid. I I mean that's the reason that's I'm gonna 
at 96% in my Arkham Knight. I it was like, fuck, am I, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, it's high enough as it is. Like, I, I literally had one mission to do, and then I can get the full ending. But I'm not gonna do that because it's stupid. Um, good boss fights. In Arkham Knight, they didn't have any boss fights at all besides one, and that was a fucking giant tank. And that was, I mean, it was it was okay and intimidating and fun at the time, but there wasn't enough. Like, they need more of those, and that, that makes the game interesting. Like, in Batman Arkham Knight, I mean, uh, Asylum and uh, City, they have boss battles out the ass, and I think they're entertaining and fun, and they're all have their own gimmicks to it, and I love it. I thought that was great. If they can bring that back, um, Arkham Origins did it pretty well, too, um, but if they can bring that back... Bam, there we go. We got a better game already. <laughs> and then finally, a good story. Who wants a fucking bot, like a busted ass story? Like, oh. So, um, that just happened. No, you look like an interesting story. Kind of like, I think Arkham Knight was a good story. Even though people thought it was predictable. I mean, they saw who the Arkham Knight was. I personally didn't know who it was until, I mean, as soon as he took like, the blue casing off his mask, I was like, oh, the red mat or the, the red hood. Then I knew who it was. And at, the, at the time, though, I didn't know. Everyone, I mean, people were saying they knew it, but I mean, I mean, I thought it was a good story at the time. All the rest of the stories were pretty good at the time. If they can keep that up, I think it'd be good, uh, good to go. I think Arkham Asylum and Arkham City are the best stories of the series. And if they can do more of those, be uh, more the merrier. Please, keep it coming. But that's my list. That's my extended talk, my free talk, or my list, whatever you want to call it. Uncut. Of what I expect and want from Batman 2017, and hopefully it ends up being that way. And honestly, if it doesn't even come out in uh, 2017, that'd be fine with me because I've learned that over the years that if you rush a game, it's going to be completely shit. <laughs> but if you drag it out and give it its time and let it work mechanically, and everyone or the studio people can fix the bugs and make it a great game. It makes it like it makes a world of a difference. Like it's worth your sixty bucks, um, even more depending where you live. So I'm okay with it coming out later dates. The goal was for 2017 though, because I have no idea how long they've been working on this game. I imagine they've been working on it since Origins, which dropped in 13, so four years, and then they worked on this this Suicide Squad game on the side as well with this game. So maybe they're kind of like tied, like wrapped up with those games, or like you know, like just too busy with one another. But, I don't know. So, we'll have to find out until then. But thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Please subscribe. <laughs> until then, guys, I will see you all soon. Summer's around the corner. You know what that means? You know what that means. Alright, until then, guys. See ya.